Hi, how's everyone doing today? I'm great. Good. So today we're going to be learning about perimeter. To start off the class, I want y'all all to get with a partner and we're going to do a think, pair, share activity. Uh, when you get with your partner, collaborate what you've learned previously about perimeter, what all you know about perimeter. And in a few minutes, we're going to regroup as a class and we'll go over what y'all got and we'll go from there. All right, now that we've had a couple of minutes to go over what y'all knew about perimeter, let's go back to our seats. Make sure you grab your papers with you so we can go over this as a class. Who wants to start off first on what they came up with? Gabby? Add all sides. Yes, that's very good. Perimeter is adding all the sides of an object. Did you get anything else that you wanted to share? Width plus height. That's partially correct. You have to make sure you add all sides, not just the width and the height. That would be more like area, which is length times width but that's close. We'll go over what the perimeter formula is. Does anyone else want to share anything? All right, well, let's go on to our presentation then. All right, before we start our presentation, everyone pull out their presentation that I printed off for them. It should be laid out on your desk in the papers. Make sure you're following along and writing down, writing out the problems as we go through them and the work that goes along with them. So perimeter. Today our learning goal is going to be to be able to find the perimeter of different shapes and objects. What is perimeter? Perimeter is the measurement of the distance all the way around an object. Y'all might want to get out a highlighter and highlight that because that could be a qu question on one of the quizzes to come. Here's our first practice problem. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? Lucy? Alright, let's count along together. One, two, two three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, eleven, twelve. twelve 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so the perimeter, which is the distance around this rectangle, is going to be 16. Here's another one. All right, does anyone want to do the perimeter of this rectangle? All righty. Well, I'll do this one for y'all. Y'all just follow along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24. So the distance around this rectangle is going to be 24. Alrighty, I'm going to give y'all just a couple of minutes to work with your partner near you and find the perimeter of these. And then we'll go over it. Now y'all have had a couple of minutes, let's regroup and see what y'all got for these. Alright, Gabby, what'd you get for this first one? 18. Good job. We know that it's 18 because 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 18. For the second one, it's a cube or a square, so all sides are equal. What was the one for the second? 12. Very good. And for the last one? 18. Good job. This one could have been a little tricky because it involves two shapes put together. But just make sure you count all the sides to get the perimeter of both objects. Now we're going to listen to a song on perimeter. 
<laughs> so here's the song we're gonna listen to, and once we listen to it, we're gonna sing it along. It's a nice little catchy tune to help you remember what perimeter is. Perimeter, measure around the shape, around the shape, around the shape. Perimeter, measures around the shape, just add up all the sides. Alright, let's join in. Perimeter, <laughs> measures around the shape. Around the shape, around the shape, perimeter, measures around the shape, just add up all the sides. Very good. Alright, so we're going to find the perimeter of this triangle. Here are the sides for y'all. So how are we going to find the perimeter of this? Add them all together. That's right. So on your presentation, write out six plus five plus three. And six plus five plus three is going to give us 14. All right, let's find the perimeter of this triangle. All right, Gabby, what did you get for this one? 32. 32 is a little off. Remember, you just add up the three sides. Maybe the addition got a little off. 8 plus 8 plus 6 is going to be 22. Did everyone get that written down? All right, let's find the perimeter of this octagon. Make sure you're writing down all the sides. Does anyone want to try this one or? No. All right, once we write perimeter equals five plus five plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three, plus three we get 28. So the perimeter of this octagon is 28, which is the distance around this. What is the perimeter of this arrow? We're going to write down P equals 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 9 plus 9 plus 2. When we add all of that up together, we get 28. The perimeter of this arrow is 28. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? The perimeter is 6 plus 6 plus 3 plus 3. For a grand total of 18. The perimeter of this rectangle is 18. All right, y'all try to do this one on your own. Who wants to give this one a shot? Gabby? It's 18. You're a little off. 2 plus 2 plus 8 plus 8 is equal to 20. You might have left out one of the sides, and that's how you got that. So make sure you have all sides run down and add them all together to get the distance around this rectangle. What do we know about the sides of a rectangle? The opposite sides of rectangles are the same length. So if there's eight on the across the top, it's going to be 8 on the bottom. Or if on the side it's 2, it's going to be 2 on the other side as well. So let's find the perimeter of this rectangle. It only gives you two measurements now instead of all four. To find the perimeter, we're going to write 
P equals non plus the non, since we know the other side is non, and then plus five and five, since we know the short side is also five. That's gonna give us, now we're gonna go ahead and log into Kahoot and we're gonna do a perimeter Kahoot. So everyone get out their Chromebooks. I will give you all the code to join. The code is 203-3949. Now that we've had time to play the Kahoot and review what we learned on Perimeter today, go ahead and get out the flashcards I printed off for y'all. I want y'all to cut those out and on a separate piece of paper work out the problems so that you know how you get the correct answer off of those. Spend a little time practicing those. And then once y'all finish with that, we're going to go on to IXLs. The IXLs that y'all need to complete today are DD1 and DDD, DD2. Excuse me. Once y'all complete those, you can have free time and work on flashcards or complete more perimeter IXLs that follow DD2. I think DD3 and DD4 both work on perimeter. They include decimals, though, which we didn't go over decimals today. Y'all did very good with our lesson today. I'm glad y'all were able to participate and follow along through our presentation and scavenger hunt. Tomorrow we're going to work on area. At the end of the week we'll probably have a test on perimeter and area together. Before y'all leave, make sure you grab the exit ticket and complete that. We'll go over those tomorrow one-on-one. -on -one. But y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Bye kids!